Hi, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do token based authentication using ASP.NET Web API 2 and uh, the Ionic framework, Ionic 3. Uh, so, this tutorial will be divided in two parts. The first part will be about uh, ASP.NET Web API, and uh, we are going to create the ASP.NET Web API project and write the necessary code that will allow us to generate the token that will be sent to our mobile application and in the second part I'm gonna show you how to develop the Ionic application that uh, will uh, do the authentication thing and receive the the, the, the token generated by the uh, web API project so let's get started the first thing that we need to do is to create a new project so uh, choose web isp.net web application call it whatever you want so I'm gonna call it uh, token based dots so token based dots hit ok from the list here choose web API and uh, hit the OK button and uh, we will wait for the project to be uh, created so uh, once the project has been uh, created so this is our web API project so uh, the first step that we need to do is to install uh, some NuGet packages so right click on your project uh, go to manage NuGet pack packages. Make sure that you, you are you are connected to internet. So here uh, I'm going to connect to the internet. Okay. So go to browse. So um, the first package that we need to install is Microsoft ASP.NET Web API .on. So the first one is Microsoft .ASP.NET Web API dot Owen so this is uh, the uh, the package that we are going to install so uh, just install the latest stable version which is uh, 5.2.3 hit install and wait, wait for it to be downloaded okay so um, uh, click on OK and I accept and wait for the package to be installed so here it's finished so now we are going to install the second package which is microsoft.on.host.system.web so microsoft microsoft.on.host.systemweb so this is uh, the package that we need to install and like always choose the latest stable version which is which is uh, 3.1.0 and uh, click the install button and wait for the uh, for it to be uh, for the wind for the installation download or installation window to be uh, prompt so it's uh, the same uh, process so here I'm going to cut the video and wait for the uh, installation to be done Okay, so uh, hit OK. So uh, this package, this package Microsoft Owen Host System Web, is used to enable our Owen server to run our API on IIS using ASP.NET Request Pipeline. So uh, hit I accept. Okay, so uh, there is, I think, uh, six uh, package NuGet packages that we are going to install. So the third one is uh, the, uh, the third package that we that we are going to install with add support for ASP.NET Identity ON so uh, which is Microsoft.ASP.NET Identity ON so this is the one that install okay I accept <clears throat> uh, 
the first packet, uh, the fourth sorry package that we are going to install it will allow us to add support for using ASP.NET identity with Entity Framework. So uh, we will be able to use SQL Server. So the package is Microsoft dot ASP dot net identity dot entity framework so Microsoft ASP dot net identity entity framework choose the latest version okay so okay I accept Okay, uh, there is uh, two more uh, packages. So uh, the next is Microsoft dot Owen dot security security dot OAuth. So this is the package. So Microsoft Owen security OAuth. So here uh, we have the version 2.1 so I'm going to update it to the version 3.1.0 so update so this one uh, would be already installed in your project so we are going just to update it which is Microsoft Owen that security that o of I accept so uh, now we are going to install the last package so which is Microsoft that oh and that uh, that course so micro soft that oh sorry so Owen that course so this is the last package so Install the latest, uh, the latest stable version, so 3.1.0. Install. Hit OK. I accept. <clears throat> so gathering dependency information. I think it's still installing. So uh, the installation of the last package is finished. So now we will jump to the uh, next step, which is uh, creating the startup class. So right click on your project, add <coughs> new item, uh, general, I think it's not general, it's visual C sharp. <coughs> So uh, 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 my, there is a template for the startup class here. So uh, so Owen startup class. So from uh, Visual C Sharp, choose Owen startup class. Click on Add. So this is the startup class. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna remove the one from the name. The, you can name it whatever you want so but just name it startup so you are renaming a file yes okay so now we are going to write some code to, to add some code to this class so delete this comment here and we are going to use HTTP configuration config new HTTP configuration we are going to import now this uh, class okay so after that web so web API config that register I'm gonna pass the config object and finally app that use web API and we're going to pass the config object another time 
so now uh, we will jump to another thing and we will uh, go back later to modify the startup class now uh, we will open the app start uh, folder go to uh, web api config file which is the web api config class and uh, here we are going to create a new variable called json formatter config that formatters that of type and here you have to type json media type formatter dot first so here we have to import this one here I think and then the same object so JSON formatter dot serialize settings that contract resolver new camel case property contract I think it's new camel case property names contracts make sure to import it and that's it for the web api config file for now so now we are going to add a connection string to our uh, web config uh, file so the connection string is, that will allow uh, to create the connection to establish the connection between our application and uh, our SQL Server database. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, the way the connection string in into my uh, web config file. So this is our web config file. In this uh, position here, I'm going to copy and paste uh, the uh, connection string. So here I'm going to paste my connection string. So the name of my connection string is token string. And the name of my database is TutsDB. So this is my uh, my connection string. And this is, is my local uh, SQL server uh, <coughs> address. So it is on localhost. So now uh, we are going to create the DB context class. So um, here I'm going to create a new folder called infrastructure and inside it I'm going to add a new class I'm gonna name it uh, that's that's context so this class will inherit from um, our identity db context of identity uh, user uh, I'm going to import this one and then I'm going to create the constructor of my touch context class that's context this one will inherit from the base from the base controller uh, of the constructor sorry I am a little bit sick so um, sorry that my voice is not uh, clear as usual uh, base curly braces and here inside the the uh, the uh, this uh, curl, uh, this uh, braces here I'm going to type the name of my connection string so the name of my connection string of my connection string is token string so copy 
um, paste it here and uh, we are done uh, with the uh, DB context class okay so uh, let's uh, save and build our project let's wait for the project to be built so the project uh, was built successfully now um, inside uh, we are going to create the mo user model so inside the models folder I'm going to add a new class I'm gonna call it user model hit enter so this class will contain just two properties so this first one is a string user uh, name and the second one will be of type string and it will be the password the user password okay so, so this is our um, model the next step is to add the uh, repository um, uh, for our project so inside the infrastructure uh, folder add a new class call it auth repo so auth repository this class will inherit from uh, i disposable so now we have to implement the uh, method inside the i disposable uh, interface so this is the dispose method so we are going to write the body of uh, the implementation of that method later so for now <clears throat> we are going to uh, add the auth what is the name of my um, what is the name of my context it's that's context ctx private so here I'm going to create and the property of type uh, user manager that will uh, uh, how can I say will uh, handle the the user search and the user entity will be handled by this user manager so user manager of type identity identity user user manager okay so we have to import this one Okay. Um, <clears throat> now we, I'm going to create the constructor. Now I'm going to create the constructor of this uh, class. So public uh, auth repo. So auth repo, and here I'm going to ctx receive new uh, <clears throat> new context contexts and uh, there, there is an error here so identity user so I have to import it and here I have user manager there's a new user manager of type identity user parentheses new user uh, store identity user and here we pass the context class and that's all okay so now we are, we are going to uh, to write some methods so uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste the code of the me of these methods because I want I don't want to make the the uh, but that's okay I will I'm going to write the code so <clears throat> the first one method is the method that will allow us to register a user so to sign up the user so uh, here I'm going to public 
async 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 it's async async task identity identity so this is this is not task event handler it's just task so i have to import this uh, this one so it's it's task of uh, system uh, from the namespace system that threading that uh, system that threading so this class will be called uh, register and it, it will have a pass parameter uh, user model I'm gonna call it user okay so here identity identity user user new identity user so I'm gonna change it so I'm gonna just call it you so uh, username will get uh, user dot so I'm gonna just gonna change this to model and this one to user because you is not a significant name so um, so here you have user dot so it's not so here, there there is will be model dot I don't know why oh I have to import the so now it will recognize it so of that uh, username and that's all so after that here var result sorry so it's result and we receive awaits user manager dot we are going to to use an async asynchronous method so create async so here I'm going to pass user and model dot password and we are done so I just I'm going to return nothing so return not no but nothing at all so it's what's not working here so uh, uh, uh. return result okay so and uh, finally we are going to add the final method okay the second method our second method uh, inside uh, our repository will be public async of course it would be a task identity that's why I hate uh, code I hate uh, writing too much code inside uh, in my tutorials because a lot of mistakes and it takes a lot of uh, a lot of time so identity user so here uh, this method will be called find user okay so this one like that so this one takes two parameters the first one is string um, username and the second one is of, of type string 2 and it is the password of course so this is our method um, so like always so identity uh, user user await user manager dot uh, find async find async and here we are going to pass the uh, user name and the password and 
we will return the user and finally we are going to implement the uh, are going to write the body of our vote of our dispose method uh, so here we are going to dispose of the context object so that dispose and of the user manager and we are uh, we have finished the um, re our repository now we will go back to our startup file and inside the startup file we are going to um, create another method so this method will be called configure uh, I'm gonna call it uh, configure o off and this method will be configure o auth so here true so this is the method that we are going to create here so let's start so um uh let's create the o uh, i think it's o authorization server option so o authorization server options oh, oh server options new and you are going to uh, create those options so I, I have to import this one before so I think I made the mistake so it is O authorization server options I think I made a mistake I think it's option but I don't know where is the pro where is the error in, in the name of this this one so Okay, so it is. It it was uh, OAuth authorization server option. So this is the the correct name of this uh, class. So now I can import it. Okay, so now we are going to define some options. So allow and secure HTTP. We have to set it to true. So here it's not a semicolon. It's a comma. A uh, token endpoint path new path string and uh, here this is the path that we are going to access to generate our uh, our token um, so accident access token time span now we are going to uh, to specify uh, the, um, how much I'm going to specify the duration in which uh, our token will be uh, how can I say um, valid so this is the validity duration of our token we are going to specify it with this uh, option which is access token expire time span so uh, time span that uh, from days and I'm gonna just give it uh, give it 60 it will be available for two months so you can put whatever you want the duration here and uh, the next thing is provider new so 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 this is a custom class so that I'm going to write its name here I'm going to create it uh, after finishing those option those options sorry so simple authorization server providers or provider so here I'm going to uh, do like that and uh, semicolon uh, semicolon and now I'm going to write the code that will be um, will be uh, I'm going to just to zoom in a little bit so this is I'm going to write this comment here so token generation 
So this is the code that will uh, be responsible for generating the code. So use use um, o authorization server. So here I'm going to use this uh, this object here, and then so app that use o of bearer authentic authentication new o of bearer authentication options so I think I'm going to I think I don't know what is the, the error here so use oh, use not user so use OAuth and uh, of course the two parentheses and now so this is the class that you are going to create it in the next step so it is called simple authorization server provider so let me copy the name of this class uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, save my project I'm going to uh, add a new folder I'm gonna call it providers inside this folder I'm going to create uh, a new uh, class not folder paste the name of my class simple authorization server provider and this class will inherit from o authorization server provider so let me I think I made a mistake I think I made another mistake so it is O authorization server provider so I think providers let me see so I think it's another time an error it's the same error I think so it is it is O auth server provider so it is OAuth authorization server provider. So this is our uh, the base class from which inherit the our custom class. So um, we are to we are going to override some method of the so this super class. So to do that, I public override and here the list of the method that we can override from the super class. So the first one is validate client authentication. So validate client authentication. And here we're going to get rid of the base code. And uh, I'm just going to context dot validated. And uh, I think I, I have to change the method to async. Okay. Uh, so this is the first method so let's jump to the next method that we are going to override so type public override and the next one is grant resource owner credential so grant uh, where is grant resource owner credential so here are going to type some code okay so <clears throat> let's start so context that Owen sorry so it's Owen context here Owen context that response that headers that adds open those parentheses so here let's add a string so Access, I think it's with uh, only one C. Okay, so access control allow origin 
and then comma new array so open those curly braces inside those curly braces add a string and a star symbol inside that those curly braces and then type use using no not you short so it's it is you oh my god <clears throat> It's using so here we're going to we're going to use the uh, auth repo so I have to to import it so new auth repo so I have to uh, import it from the infrastructure folder so here identity user user we have to await for that repo dot find user method because it is an asynchronous uh, method so um, inside the find user method we are going to pass context dot username and uh, context that password name password you user password sorry and uh, here i think i need to import something yes and i think there is an error here because uh, the await operator right async it is async okay identity user so here let's add the if statement so if user is equal to null uh, context that set error and the year and valid uh, I'm gonna just type on valid user credentials creden credentials <coughs> Okay, and um, just type return here. So uh, this is uh, the, the second method. Okay, so now we are going to finish this um, provider class. So we are going to create our identity, new claims. I think it's receive uppercase C. So it claims I have to import claims, 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 security claims. Okay, I don't I don't want them to be here. So system that security. Okay, so I'm going to using using it's it's like that. It's new claims dot. I think it's claims identity. But let's claim ident identity identity identity. So here I have to import it. It's not security claims. So context dot options dot authentication type. Um identity dot add claim add claim new new claim sub so I think it, uh, <coughs> here I think it's uh, so I think it's here so I have I think I have to type um, context dot username identity dot add claim new claim so 
it's rule. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's rule. User and uh, <clears throat> finally context dot validated and we pass the identity object variable or object. Okay, so uh, we are done with the uh, this class. I'm going uh, just uh, to uh, rebuild my project and I will cut the video till he. Uh, there is uh, an error here, I think it is, uh, I must delete this line here and uh, I'm going to uh, import this one and you are done. Let's rebuild the project. And uh, now our pro uh, our project uh, has been built successfully. One final one final thing we are going to add. Let's go back to the um, 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 startup class, and uh, here after the line when we after this line here uh, app that use. Um, I think it's web API config. So up here in this app that use cars Microsoft Microsoft dot Owen dot cars dot course options dot allow all oh my god so so like that our uh, api can be accessed from uh, other applications outside the domain so now to test our uh, backend project this project to test it we are going to use our rest client which is um, postman uh, we are going to create a new user and we are going go, uh, which uh, which uh, with uh, his uh, with its name and password and then we are going to uh, try to generate a token with to authenticate it and uh, generate the token uh, from this uh, backend project so let's open postman Okay, so uh, to the first thing we need to do is to start the application. <laughs> so I need to start the application. So I think it will take take a while to start because my PC it's not uh, fast. It's not performance. So our application. I'm just I'm going to need the the port and the of the. Uh, of the server so let's just wait for it so this is our application in fact uh, I, I forgot to delete those uh, those uh, views but uh, it's not a problem so this is our port so here um, I'm going to just uh, it's 25 1753 so I'm going to copy and paste this one. I'm going to open Postman. I'm going to close some uh, tabs because I'm using Postman a lot these days. So here I'm going to uh, just copy and paste this one here. So I'm going to create uh, a new tab. I'm going to take this, uh, change the port number. So this is the port number. But before that, before that, I forgot to do something. I forgot. I am sorry. I am very, very sorry. I forgot to do something before. Uh, actually, we, we forget. We forgot a very important part of our application. Before doing that, uh, I'm going to stop the application. 
I told you I'm a, I am a little bit sick, so I am not 100. Uh, I am not 100 percent concentrated. So here I'm going to delete those two folders. Delete. Yes, and uh, we forgot to create our controller. So um, this is choose the empty one and uh, name it. For example, account controller and uh, I'm going just to copy and paste the code of the controller because uh, the video is about 50 minutes long so I don't want to make it any longer so I'm going to delete this code here uh, change this one uh, to work web API I think it's API controller API controller change this one to um, web api controller uh, and now i'm going to copy and paste the code of the, the controller I'm, I'm and i'm gonna show you the code so here i'm going to uh, paste the code uh, so this is our uh, our uh, controller code so here i'm going to import those ones the user model so it is user model with up with uppercase u uh, register user identity so import this one register user so from where come this so it is simply register here and uh, that's it that's all that's all so in this in this uh, controller we have the first uh, we have so I, I will delete this uh, route attribute because i don't need it so in this controller we have the register uh, action that will allow me to uh, sign up my user so if model state is valid is not valid so it will return a bad request uh, else it will register the user and return the OK so blah 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 so we are calling the, our repository and register the user using the user model it's simple it's very easy so we have the we have the dispose method uh, we have this method that will get the errors if there is any error in our um, model and um, and that's all that's very easy um, mm -mm. I think uh, I'm gonna just gonna uh, let you see the code if you are following this the tutorial so this is our uh, controller account controller that will allow us to sign up the user using the register user action register uh, action sorry so and this method get error result that will get the uh, errors if we have any in our uh, model so it's very simple so now I'm going to rebuild my solution and now we can uh, test our application okay so uh, the project uh, is built successfully now I'm gonna run it again let me go back to the postman here so uh, this is <clears throat> so uh, the first I think there is something that I'm, I have to change inside the web API config so here we have the route API so I have to change it sorry for the interruptions so I have to add another slash and uh, the route must be like, like the of this pattern here so we have the action name so we have API and then the controller name and then the action name and finally the IDE which is optional so I'm going to rebuild again okay and uh, let's roll so now I'm going to access the I'm going to register a, um, a user here from this uh, rest client so 
the path the, the 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 route will be slash api the name of the controller is uh, account and the name of the method is register so here i am waiting for the it was not found so that's okay we don't need any view in in this in this project because it is a web api project so we don't need uh, any view to be shown just we need the server to the application to be running that's all we need so now i'm going to to choose the uh, this uh, request will be a post request so here uh, you have to follow this pattern so you have to type http the um, the this point two point the double slash localhost uh, the port number slash api slash account the name of your controller and slash the name of the action that will sign up the user and then uh, body make sure to uh, i think i think uh, i will go for the uh, this one uh, so the user name i think i'm going to put a um, a breakpoint here to make sure that the action method uh, was hit and so here the username is uh, will be my name so hytham and uh, uh, the password will be um, one two three four go and uh, I think that's all I'm going to try to post this uh, those value to my uh, web API control action now and let's see I think I'm gonna change it to here but let me test it so username item okay sent so as you can see here the the, the values uh, are posted to my uh, to my action controller as you can see the the username is Haytham and uh, the password is one two three four go so now I'm going to so I'm going to debug the uh, the application line by line so uh, so the re the model state is uh, is uh, valid so it will take a while to uh, register the user that's why so now and finally it returns okay so now our user uh, was registered inside our uh, database so I'm going to use, open the um, SQL server management studio and uh, I'm going to see so our database is called touchdb so this is our user table asp.net users and uh, let's see if our user was saved to our database as you can see our user is saved inside our database so this is my name the username and this is the uh, the uh, the the hash of uh, the user's password. So now the user sign up is done. So you can do it otherwise. You can create sorry. So you can create an interface, and you can you add it from a form. But in this tutorial, uh, I don't want to make it uh, longer than that. That's why I choose to add the user from the REST client from Postman. So now after doing this I'm going to show you how to test if the ge token generation is done or not so let me open postman uh, let me go back to this to this one so uh, the port number here is uh, so we'll be using this I'm gonna create a new one so that's not a problem so uh, Control C. So it is uh, twenty five 
753 753 and uh, to test the to hit the uh, token generation endpoint you have to go to this uh, to this path here to this uh, route here that we specified in the startup file the slash token and then uh, change the the post type uh, the request type to post then go to body and choose the x3w farm url encoded uh, the first parameter will be the user name which is my name the second parameter is password i'm gonna type the password so it is one two three four go and the the, the final uh, parameter is grant type which is password so here i hope that it will work so let me let, let me see if it will work i hope that i did not make any mistake so the body the http localhost the port number slash token username hyphen password password so let me uh, see if it's going to work so send so as you can see here so this is our token the token type is better and it will expire in this uh, duration so the durations here is I think it is uh, change it to in seconds or minute I don't know so um, this is our token it is generated successfully so in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to get this token inside your mobile app developed by uh, Ionic 3 and how to use it to request the, uh, the, the, the web service and now let me show you just uh, if I enter a wrong for example wrong password so let me type anything here and I'm trying to request uh, the, the, the send a new request to the server so as you can see here if I write wrong password so it is error and valid error description and valid user credentials so that's the error that I typed inside my um, my class here it is I think it is the uh, the provider class so um, I think that's all for this tutorial for the for for this first part of our uh, token based authentication uh, using ASP.NET ASP web API and Ionic 3 framework so um, I think I'm gonna cut the video now and um, I will see you in the next part of this tutorial bye bye